All right, man. So Bud and Tia Female Lopez is going back and forth on social media. Uh, so Bud insinuated that T.O. just want to fight because he in a bad deal with Top Reezy, Top Rank. So um, so here you have it. It says Tia Female Lopez looks like you the one in the effed up situation with Top Rank. You want to fight. What's your con contract to fight for? Um, he said, and y'all saying, I'm looking for a petty. Y'all kill me with that BST of female Lopez. You over there hurting, I see. He quote, he says, laugh now. Um, <laughs> he says, laugh now, cry later, Terrence Crawford. I'll fight you for free. Destroying your legacy is worth more than money to me. And that might be true. Destroying his legacy is worth more than money. But I love when these dudes say, well, I'll fight you for free. I'll fight you for the uh, for free. I'll fight you for free. You ain't fighting nobody for free. They didn't just, just be talking. They just be talking. When somebody said, well, I'll fight you for free, that's all rhetoric. That's all rhetoric. They'll fight you for free. It ain't nothing. I'll fight you for free. It's rhetoric. It's rhetoric. That's all it is. It's rhetoric. Nothing more, nothing less. So when I hear people talking about, yeah, I'll fight you for free. I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do that. And this, that, and the third. Yeah, right. So um, they were talking about Crawford, you know, them losing uh them losing money on Crawford, them in top rank losing money on Crawford, Crawford being in a bad deal, you know, and all this other stuff. But it looked like a lot of them, it looked like a lot of them had bad deals. You know. A lot of them got got like got be have bad deals. That's what it looked like. So, yeah, sound good. You know, and they sit here talk all this stuff and, and and whatever, and you know, talk about Crawford being in a slave deal and all. And Crawford was making more money and doing more. Uh, he was making more money and doing bigger numbers than all of them. Real talk. You know? So, yeah, I be finding it funny because they talk all they talk all this shit. You know what I'm saying? They talk all this shit about Bud. And it's just a jealousy factor. <laughs> you know? But you know, Tia, Tia Female Lopez, what it boiled down to, it ain't that it, you know, maybe they don't offer him enough money for for Brian Norman Jr. fight. You know, maybe they ain't offer him, you know, they offer him 10 million for the Devin Haney fight. What it boiled down to, he doing the Mikey Garcia, the Kill Brook jumping up and wait, fighting fights that he know he gonna get paid for, but he can't lose. That mean that that is a lose lose. I'm supposed to go up here and lose, so it's really no pressure. It's really no pressure at all. I know I'm gonna go up here and um and lose, but everybody expect me to lose. Everybody expect me to lose. Everybody expect me to lose. Real talk. Everybody expect me to lose. So, um, so I can get a payday. I don't get the pressure of losing because I was supposed to lose. And that's kind of been trended in boxing. Kell Brook. You know, everybody ain't moving up the weight to win like Usyk. Everybody ain't moving up and wait to win like Usi. Everybody ain't moving up to win like like Bud. Either these dudes is moving up for a fight that they know they're gonna lose. You know what I'm saying? They moving up for a fight that they know they're gonna lose and get paid for and really I'm supposed to lose. So it really ain't no pressure on me. 
You know what I'm saying? Or they trying to sit at a weight for too long. Or they trying to sit at a weight too long. You know? Or they trying to stay at a weight too long. Because they scared to move up. So, you know, today's boxers got a lot of Got a lot of pussyfication moves. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of pussyfication moves. And that's what it is. They got a lot of pussyfication moves. You know, and that's just what it is. The, these dudes, these dudes don't believe in themselves. So they try to go find the biggest payday and they try to go out there and lose. Real talk. Real talk. So, and he said, hashtag, you always been a fan. Bro, you ain't even got no fans. That's the crazy shit about it. Bro, ain't even got no fans. He always want to, he always, he want to be black so bad. He want to be black so bad. That's the crazy thing about it. He want to be black so bad. And that's where that's where bigotry and racism start at is jealousy. Because guess what? If you really ain't concerned about no, no, nobody, if nobody ain't no threat, you ain't even worried. You ain't paying attention. You don't care how they moving or what they doing. You don't care how they moving or what they doing. You know, that's kind of like Ja Rule was 50 cent. He really wasn't. He really wasn't concerned about, about, you know, 50 cent. He was winning. He, anything he threw up was going in. Half court, full court, layup, uh, 360 jackknife dunk. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. It did not matter. It did not matter. You know, and at the end of the day, Tia Female Lopez, Tia Female, Tia Female Lopez, you know, he don't have he he kind of in the position of a black fighter. He kind of in that uh that 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 gray area, you know, where um he, the Hispanics don't really mess with them. The blacks don't really mess with them. What's so funny is when a lot of these dudes' cultures don't mess with them like that. You know what I'm saying? When they don't, when they don't mess with them like that. Um, yeah, when they don't mess with them like that, they always try to come over to the black culture. And then when they do something successful in black culture, a lot of these culture vultures like to run back to their culture. For real spill. A lot of these culture vultures like to run back to their culture. They always like to use our music, dance, and all that stuff. And then when you look up, you know, when they be successful in hip hop or they be successful in the black community, and all of a sudden they community then accept them and all that stuff. That's kind of what T.O. trying to do. You know, trying to cl cloud chase over blacks. And they tell you a lot of black fighters don't sell and nobody care about Crawford, nobody do this, that, and the third. That dude must you or your daddy in the face and you ain't do nothing. And you ain't do nothing. Keyshawn and them beat your daddy up for saying the N-word and you did nothing. You did absolutely nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. Be killing me. Real spill. But you know he trying to talk his way into a fight, and, and it's up to it's up to it's up to Bud. But these same people will tell will tell uh, these same people will tell you know Bud that he ain't done enough to fight Canelo, but apparently he do. I'm telling y'all they always asking black men to do things that nobody else should do. Not black males, not Pookies, not Glocktaviuses. They always asking us to do stuff. 
that they wouldn't do or other men wouldn't do, other ethnic dudes won't do. It's like black women asking us to be stepfathers and in, in, into uh and to step in for other men's uh, other you know for other women's mistakes. Black women and black grandmothers and black mothers ask men to do that. They do. They do. They always asking us to be the cleanup dudes. Always. They always asking us to back clean up. Ain't no different in, in every aspect in life. It ain't no different. It ain't no different. It ain't no different. So, you know, saying we're here, oh, man, you know, you don't deserve this, but you should give this dude an opportunity or you should give this dude a chance. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in it. If you ain't if you ain't fucking with me, I ain't really fucking with you. I don't I don't believe in that turn of the cheek. We the only on you know black people, the only group of people that was taught turn the other cheek. We the only group of people that was taught that. Our women don't even turn the other cheek. We the only people that do it, black man. So no, nah, if TL gonna fight for free, I send an offer free. And all his money going to me. He jealous when he was fighting on Bud under cars and fighting up under Bud. Nigga, niggas be jealous. So you gotta watch who you help help out. What Cassidy say? He said niggas be phony. That's why I only got a couple of homies, and they really do. That's a fact. That's a fact. People really be phony. People really use use you for whatever it may be. Some women use it for sex. Some men women use it for resources. Some dudes use you for transportation. Some people use you just for your energy. That's it. You know? So... It is what it is, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the link tree. A link, <laughs> PayPal link in the link tree in the description. In the link tree, you can find me on Amazon, Kick, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. I'm probably about to get off Facebook, to be honest. Just too, too anal over there with their rules. They Meta, I'm about to just delete Meta altogether, bro. I might just use the Instagram for DMs, and that's it. But I appreciate y'all. Peace.